Hey guys, my name is Zoe. Um, this is Zoe Zoo, and I have been admiring the grad community for a while. This will be my first real video. Um, I've had probably 10 rats since like second grade. So I've had rats for a while, but this is like, I recently got into watching YouTube videos for them. So this is my little input. Um, I have two hamsters, two rats, and I am planning on getting a bunny rabbit soon, probably by the end of the month. So I will definitely do a video for her if if you would like her. My future bunny rabbit, whatever gender it is. <laughs> Winnie! Right now I have my dog. That's Winnie, named after Winifasaki, the lake. Wait, come on up. Come on up. Oh, hi, Winnie. Oh, hi, hi, baby. She is about 12 years old, and she's just my little baby. <laughs> she's always been a hunter, I guess. Every time I have a rat, even though I clearly don't want to eat it or I take care of it and stuff, she still sees it as food, so. Mm. She's always barking and trying to get him. Hi, Winnie. She's a sweetheart. All right, I'm gonna put you out for this cage. All right, so this is my new rat cage. It's taller than me and it's very awesome. Um, it's brand new Critter Nation uh, model 162. It's the absolute best thing I have ever come across ever on the internet. I got it from Amazon for $101. Um, and yeah. It's really awesome. It can fit so much stuff. I love that. Hi, baby. Hi. I love how the door is just completely like open all the way. Hi, baby. This is Millie. She's my little baby. Hi. All right. I'm just gonna. Thank you. All right. Ah, this is Millie, and she's so cute. Mm. So I think with pairs, there's usually an alpha and a beta. I think according to their behavior, I think she's the alpha. Um, she seems to be, like when they play fight and stuff, she always seems to be the dominant one. She always seems to be, be the one on top. Hi, baby. Mm. All right, I'm gonna put you away. All right, now where's, where's the other one? Other one. Oh, she's in right there. You can hear Winnie in the back background barking. All right, come on. Come on, little baby. Hi, cutie. All right. This is Nikki. And she has some cute little spots on her tummy. And then she has like little white gloves on. <laughs> I just love her color pattern. So she's the beta and her her coat seems to be like a really dark brown with some spots of white on it. Oh, Millie. <laughs> so, yeah, she she seems to be the little one. So they are actually sisters. I got them um, while I had my last pair, uh, or one per one of my rats from my last pair named Blondie, and she was really old, and I had her for about three years. I've had her for about three years um, before she had to be put down from cancer. It happens. Um, and while I was at school one day, some girl just came up to me in class and was like, hey, you like rats, right? <laughs> I, was like, I was like, yeah. And lo and behold, we did like a little rat deal. Apparently she had just oh, so many rats. She had a big family going on. These two are sisters. I think they were born in my friend's possession. Um, so they're not from like a pet store. And I honestly think I'm not gonna look for pet store rats anymore. Um, just because these seem to be the most sociable. Look, they're crawling on this side. <laughs> these seem to be the most sociable and the most healthy seeming rats. Um, they're 
most friendly. I, I don't know. I've had them for a long time, so they seem they've been clearly handled well, and they've been given a lot of love by my by my friend. Um, so yeah, they're born in the same litter, uh, either on Thanksgiving or the day after Thanksgiving. So or the day before or on. They're born Thanksgiving. Um, of this year. So they're still little babies. Um, and yeah, they're free range, which is why they're just running around my room right now. I have wire mesh on the, on the holes and the radiator and stuff. So they can't like, like I rat proofed my room so they can't get into the walls. They can't get into anything they, they shouldn't be. All right. Now I'm going to introduce you to my hamsters. All right. So honestly, these were an impulse buy. <laughs> I got them the day I put down my last rat. Um, so it, like immediately after the person who drove me there, they had to go to the pet store to get themselves or get the, their pets some food. And I really wanted to go in so I could see the little babies and like mend my little heart. Um, so hey, hey Millie. Hi, baby Millie. Hi. <laughs> yeah, she just kind of adventures around. Oh, you want to go my shoulder? All right. Um, so this is Bridget and Chloe. <laughs> um, this is a cage I built myself out of a giant storage bin, the biggest one I could find at Walmart. Um, and I put the same wire mesh that I put around the grates in my room, I put on the windows on this. And I just took wire and kind of stapled it, like I made little rings and I just pinched it around. I took a drill and made little holes. Alright. Alright, get down from there. Come on. Are you? Oh, there they are. All right. So these are Chinese dwarf hamsters. I love them because they're so tiny. And they're so cute and they look like little chipmunks. And I like how calm they are. And they seem like really cautious animals as opposed to the rats because they are very skittish and, or they're not skittish, they're very hyper and they're curious. So if I, if I put these in the middle of a room, I think, I feel like they would just sit there and stay in the same spot as opposed to a rat who would immediately like look at something and be like, I want to adventure that. I want to see what that is. They're really curious and, and <sighs> they're really hyper animals and I like them. I like how calm these guys are. Hi, babies. Oh. So this one is Bridget. This one is Chloe. You can tell because Chloe is tinier than Bridget. Not by much, but by just a little bit. Do, do, do. And I like their big, big noggins. But yeah, see how they're very calm as opposed to my rats if you were just running around my bed. I still, I still let these guys, um, I have two hamster balls for them so they can run around my room still and even though they're not completely free range like the rats, but they still get a lot of exercise. They still run around in their wheel a lot. Um, they're still, they're still pretty active and they get what they need to. All right. And that is, that is Millie. Hi baby. <laughs> So that's my animals. <laughs> um, if anybody has any questions about how I made this cage or how I take care of my animals or, you know, anything like that, uh, drop a comment in the, in the box below and like and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs>